my family. Going back to South Sudan is still difficult. The house has been burned, the cows have been taken. So they had nothing, nothing, nothing. A war happened and I was at home with my grandmother and my siblings. So we ran away together. My mom is in South Sudan, let me say, though I don't know exactly where she is. For some years back, we thought she was actually dead. So it was really hard. My mom and my younger sister were killed. That is when I went to Dadaab. When you raise in the race, you must run with your mind. This running thing, I'm going to work harder for it. Maybe it can take me somewhere bigger. The majority of the refugees there are from the Somalia and we South Sudanese, uh, the Burundian and the Ethiopian, we are the minority and most of us are Christian. So we are really facing challenges due to the, those religious uh, differences and, and also the Al-Shabaab. It's, it's, it's really horrible for us. They were like kidnapping people every now and then in the dark. Staying in the refugee camp, you know, you think you have been rejected. For me, it is difficult. Sometimes a lot of bombing, and sometimes they will come and threaten uh, the, uh, our people in the community, especially when you have a shop. Every time we wake up, we feel like, okay, we have to thank God, at least we have seen the new day. Try to bend backward. Ay! Ay! Okay. I'm seeing the champions here. I'm seeing uh, uh, one record in, among these people. We just started in October last year. And this people, they came from a very difficult situation. And as an athlete, I realized that there is so much that I can do for our people. To have a, a refugee status is not easy. You are nobody. You are somebody, but you are not put in the eyes of the others. Oh, you are yeah. 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 Yeah.